safety and security situation at the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant in particular continues to be extremely fragile and dangerous. Military activities continue in the region and may well increase very considerably in the near future. The plant has been operating on significantly reduced staff, which despite being in temporary shut down is not sustainable. And there have been seven occasions when the site lost all of site power and had to rely on emergency on emergency diesel generators, which is, as you know, the last line of defense against a nuclear accident. We are fortunate that a nuclear accident has not yet happened. As I said at the IAEA Board of Governors, last March, we are rolling a dice. And if this continues, then once day, our luck will run out. So we must all do everything in our power to minimize the chance that it does. I have identified the following concrete principles to help ensure nuclear safety and security at ZNPP in order to prevent nuclear accident and ensure the integrity of the plant. I see these commitments as essential to avoid the danger of a catastrophic incident. Let me say something very clearly. These principles are to no one's detriment and to everyone's benefit. Avoiding a nuclear accident, Mr. President, is possible. Abiding by the IAEA's five principles is the way to start. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, the IAEA five principles to avoid a nuclear accident are hereby established. The IEA intends to start monitoring these principles through its on-site mission. МГТ, упомянутый генеральным директором МГТ принципов ядерной и физической ядерной безопасности, мы продолжим обеспечивать защиту ЗАЭС таким образом, чтобы не дать возможности Киеву и коллективному Западу их грубо и безответственно нарушать. Россия будет предельно жестко отвечать на любые атаки Украины на ЗАЭС, критически важные объекты ее инфраструктуры, включая линии энергоснабжения станции, а также на город Энергодар, в котором проживают сотрудники АЭС и члены их семей. We know that one country, a permanent member of this council, continues to demonstrate its flagrant disregard for these principles. Since March of last year, when Russia illegally seized the Zaporizhia plant, the international community has held its breath each time the facility has been hit by shells, each time it has lost external power, each time Russian forces have detained essential staff. We reiterate that by illegally occupying ZNPP and making it an element of its military strategy, Russia has violated all key international principles of nuclear safety and security and the vast majority of its obligations under international treaties. One could hardly consider Russia to be a reliable partner able to adhere to undertaking commitments. I had uh, very clear expressions of support uh, about it, and um, as a result of this, we are going to be uh, reinforcing the presence of the agency at, uh, through our mission, our permanent mission um, deployed in uh, Zaporizhia, and we will be also looking at the important elements, including these uh, principles that um, refer to the necessity to avoid attacks from or to the, the plant.